Just recently, President Marcos finally gave the green light for Phase 3 of the revised AFP modernization program, which is now called the Rehorizon 3 phase, now with an expanded timeline of at least 10, 10 years of implementation and a budget totaling around PHP 2 trillion. This means that per annum, the budget intended for the revised AFP modernization program may have a minimum of PHP 200 billion, or otherwise an appreciating amount through time, enough for every branch of the Philippine military to acquire everything the organization needs for external defense. Please take note that the acquisition projects slated under this phase are anchored on a comprehensive archipelago each defense concept, meaning its priorities and capabilities it is after our on power projection, something that naval warships and air force fighter aircraft fulfill. This power projection is highly likely to be augmented by shore-based defense systems, capable of eliminating both aerial and naval threats whenever needed in the event of war. While Rehorizon 3 comes with promising prospects of better and more capable military hardware compared to what the first two Horizons have to offer, backlogs from Horizon the second of may likely get priority first, followed by the needed territorial defense requirements in the priority list of the Rehorizon 3 phase. One thing to highlight is something that the Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro has said in the article, quoting, We have said that the AFP and DND will not be a vendor's paradise. We will not consider ourselves a Bendy, but a client. We will demand performance from all our proponents, Teodoro said, vowing to be intolerant of any delays. This means that things that the ongoing limbo of the Swedish Parliament's ratification of the Memorandum of Agreement for 14. 14. Saab JAS 39 Gripen C. Ds may face danger as there are no movements in the multi-role fighter jet project despite being the preferred candidate compared to the more capable yet more expensive F-16 Block 7070 Seconds Viper. Lastly, the next 10 years will be significant for the Philippine Defense Fora, as it is highly expected that we will provide updated and in-depth takes about individual acquisition projects, so better check our defense website for detailed updates and our social media pages, including this one, for updated developments. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has approved the military's revised wish list for new weaponry and equipment to shore up the country's defenses against threats, in the face of a rapidly evolving regional security landscape. The updated acquisition plan called, Rehorizon 3 Inches will focus on, an array of capabilities which will range from our domain awareness, our connectivity, our intelligence capabilities or C4I star, command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, targeting acquisition and reconnaissance, to our area denial and deterrence capabilities on both the maritime and the aerial domains. Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. said at an event hosted by the Manila Overseas Press Club last week. Defense sources said the revised procurement plan would have a timeline of 10 years and cost around P2 trillion. It replaces Horizon 3, the supposed final stage of the three-phase modernization program that would have started last year and run until 2028, consisting of equipment mostly geared for external defense.